David Cameron says he hopes his investigation into the SAS's role in a raid on India's Golden Temple in 1984 will provide reassurance for the British Sikh community. The military operation in which hundreds were killed sent shockwaves through Sikh communities around the world. Today, William Haig said Britain's assistance was purely advisory and had limited impact. But Sikh leaders say his comments were smug and condescending. Here's Vicky Young. The storming of this holy shrine unleashed a wave of violence across India which claimed thousands of lives. So when declassified documents revealed that Britain gave advice to the Indian government ahead of this deadly attack, Sikhs here spoke of a sense of betrayal. With permission, Mr. Speaker, Today the Foreign Secretary outlined the conclusions of an inquiry by the country's most senior civil servant. The Cabinet Secretary's report finds that the nature of the UK's assistance was purely advisory, limited and provided to the Indian government at an early stage that it had limited impact on the tragic events that unfolded at the temple three months later. Today's report found that the UK government did send one military officer to India for a few days. He advised that action by Indian troops should be as a last resort when all other courses of negotiation had failed. The report found no evidence that any other UK military assistance was given. For the hundreds of thousands of Sikhs living in this country, the suggestion that Britain was involved in events at Amritsar is deeply upsetting. And some of them have told ministers here at the Foreign Office today that only a public inquiry will convince them that the whole truth has been told. I found that statement smug and condescending, not addressing any of the real issues that Sikhs are concerned about. We've asked for full disclosure from day one um, and full transparency. And um, what, what we would like is all document and all facts in relation to any UK government involvement uh, in India and on these issues to be put on the table. Ministers insist today's report, which looked at more than 20,000 documents, was rigorous and thorough. But so far it's done little to quell the anger over such a controversial episode in Indian history. Vicky Young, BBC News. Well, with me now is Jasveer Singh, a barrister and chairman of the City Seeks Network, an organisation that promotes education and volunteering among British space, space Seeks. It's good to have you, and thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank um, you. Smug and condescending, that seems a bit harsh. Would you agree with that? Well, firstly, I would say that it's a good thing for the government to, have, and they should be commended for producing this report in such a short space of time. However, I can see that there are lots of concerns which have been raised by the findings of the report. And certainly the scope of the report doesn't seem to go to the extent that many Sikhs in the UK would wish it to. Mm, 20,000 documents were looked at. That seems pretty exhaustive, doesn't it? It does. However, one of the things which is being asked by the Sikh community, and many within the Sikh community, is transparency, full transparency, mm. and full disclosure of many of these documents. Some of the documents have been disclosed, but there are a very limited number which have been provided. Mm. Uh, and there are a number of issues which also remain outstanding, which haven't been dealt with by the report. Like, like what? Well, the report itself deals with, uh, goes up to involvement until, say, uh, the first half of 1984. It doesn't look at what the involvement may have been of uh, any um, uh, British organisations or the British state uh, going further on to, let's say, November 1984 and the tragedies which unfolded then following the assassination of Indira Gandhi. There are also other issues which are at play here which are causing some concern to many within the Sikh community. Sure. I mean, how much anger is there within the community? And, you know, you perhaps cannot speak for everyone, no. but, but what, is, what is the sense, what is the feeling within the community about this chapter in Sikh-British relations? I think some within the community are starting to question their own identity, uh, as in whether they feel that they are British and Sikh. Because of this? Yes, indeed. Mm. Not, not many, but it is causing enough for, um, it is enough of a number for people to start thinking, well, actually, these are issues which need to be addressed. And certainly the issue which needs to be addressed the most is that of trust and rebuilding the trust of the British Sikh community. Sikhs have been here for the last 160 years, but one of the most integrated communities in the country, uh, where as British as anyone. And for us to see that the British government 30 years ago may have been involved in the storming of the Golden Temple, the holiest of Shri Sikh shrines, it, it causes, uh, well, upset to many Sikhs. So it's understandable as to why there are such strong emotions there. Sure. So it seems to some Sikhs that perhaps, you know, the British government is, is taking sides. Some 
may see it that way, yes. Uh, certainly there have been words which have been used by members of the community such as uh, betrayal and the idea that uh, the, Sikh, uh, the British government has uh, betrayed Sikhs who've been, in their words, loyal to, uh, to Britain over the last 100, 150 years. Certainly Sikhs were uh, the most uh, ready to fight in the First and Second World Wars uh, on behalf of king and country. There is that relationship between the Sikh community and Britain and this is causing a bit of a, a fracture within that. Hopefully it's something that can be rebuilt but the only way to rebuild it is full transparency and full disclosure of documents. So you're talking about a public inquiry effectively? Well some are asking for that, yes, and it may well be that that is one of the ways in which to, uh, to quell the disquiet. If not a, a full public inquiry, then there are other ways and means that this can be done. But the report produced as of today, whilst it's commendable for the government to have produced it within such a short period of time, just doesn't go enough as far as many Sikhs are concerned. Mm. Very, very interesting indeed. Jasveer Singh, it's good to have you in. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you.